Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on special triangles. We have two special triangles comes very handy, especially when you start learning trigonometry down the road. 45, four, ah, it's a Saturday, my tongue is tied here. 45, 45, and 90 is one of them. And then the other one is a special one, it's a 30, 60, 90. So here's my 90 here, and a small one is a 30, and then here's the 60 degrees. Okay, let's solve a particular problem, and then we'll take a look at general case. If the hypotenuse is 60 here, we're asked to find the x, the two legs. 45, 45 has a special property in that this is a really a fair family in that each leg is exactly the same. If you think the hypotenuse is the parents, the parents treat the two kids exactly the same. Using Pythagorean theorem, of course, we have x squared plus x squared equals to 60 squares, or 2x squared is equal to 60, oh, that's not a zero, that's a squared. And then x squared is equal to 60 squared divided by 2. You notice I didn't rush off to figure out what a 60 squared is, because I really like the 60 squared when I take square root of it. That's a such pretty number when I can keep it. I'll try to keep it. So this one is equal to 60 squared divided by radical 2 on the bottom. Like I said, 60 is a pretty number. 60 squared is a pretty number, because I can just simply dump it outside. OK, then I have a radical 2 here. Now, mathematicians are weird whole bunch, they insist on having the radical not show up on the bottom or denominator here. And that's because earlier before we had calculators, dividing a radical 2 is a very difficult thing. You might not realize that radical 2 is 1.4 and 4 and keep on uh, non-repeating decimals. However, if you do this little thing called a rationalized denominator, it becomes a very easy to multiply radical 2. So the answer here, I know it's a wonder about the ways, but anyway, the answer is 30 times radical of 2. Now, in the general case here, in general case, I mean, there's if they don't give you any numbers, we can still carry out exactly the same thing. If we call the hypotenuse a, we still have x squared plus x squared equal to a squared. Okay, so 2x squared is equal to a squared. Then x is equal to, we're going to go through the same thing, radical a squared over radical 2. And then I'm going to rationalize the same way I did earlier. And then this one is always true for 45 degree angle. The legs is always radical 2 over 2 times whatever the hypotenuse is. Okay, so whatever the parent is, we think A is the parent, and then the leg, each one of the leg is radical 2 over 2. Kind of neat. All right, let's take a look at the general case for 30, 60 degrees. This one comes very handy, like I said earlier, in trigonometry. If this leg is still A, let's see, this is not a fair family. Parent favors one child versus the other one, unfortunately. Okay, so let's see the parent is A. The 30, 60 degrees always, always, it's not often we have always in mathematics, but this is one of the case. The 30 degrees always gets the short end. It's always half of the parent, okay? And then let's find out what this longer x is. Using Pythagorean theorem, we have half of a squared plus this x squared is equal to a squared. Then x squared is equal to a squared minus, I'm going to take this one over, and I have a quarter a squared. So this is equal to 3 fourth a squared. It's not as pretty as the other one before. Now let's take, I'm running out of room here, but let's take a radical root on both sides. So x is equal to radical 3 divided by 2. I took a radical on both sides. I have radical 3 and radical 4 is 2. Okay. So the longer side is always radical 3 over 2. 
times the parent side or the hypotenuse side, which is actually longer than half. As you recognize, radical 3, if you punch into your calculator, is 1.732, or so on and so forth. Don't ask me how I memorize those numbers. Weird things pop in my head. All right. Well, I hope this is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan, making learning math fun, or at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.